Hey, good morning. Uh, we're going to take a short break in the content view series to do an in-between video about Satellite 6 upgrades. It's going to be a short one today. Uh, the reason is the 627 upgrade that was released last week, and I just want to run you guys through the steps you need to take to go from 626 to 627. It's actually a really, really simple procedure, but there's one thing you really need to do during that upgrade, and I cannot stress that enough. It's not something um, specific to this upgrade. It's basically for every upgrade, and that is uh, to run the installer in a special way. So um, I want to take a look at that with you guys, and um, um, we'll continue the, the content view series next week. So uh, how do I go about updating my satellite server? Well, first of all, there is not a dedicated upgrade script uh, like in Satellite 5 that performs the upgrade for you. Uh, instead, it's just a normal yum update that you run and you update your satellite just like um, you would update RHEL. But after you run yum update, you really, really need to run the installer with the dash dash upgrade flag. And I'll show that in a demo later on. Um, if you don't do this, you might miss out on some com configuration file changes and or database migrations, and that will result in uh, unexpected behavior on the satellite server. Um, if you have made any manual changes to configuration files that are part of satellite, they will be overwritten by the installer. So you have to check if those files are um, as you expect them to be after running the installer and potentially uh, redo your manual changes. So let's switch over to the satellite server and um, let's go through the demo. So uh, let's switch over to my demo system real quick. Um, as you can see, before the upgrade, we're running satellite version 6.2.6, .6, and then we switch over to a terminal real quick. Uh, we run a yum check update to see what updates we have outstanding. As you can see, that's quite a few. Uh, we run the yum update command. Um, I've been so free as to seed my satellite with some updates before I started recording the video, so we don't have to go watch um, the download of um, 47 packages. Um, I'll pause here for a couple of seconds in order for this to finish. Uh, we don't have to all watch this. So the update's just about done right now. Um, some SE Linux um, policy compilation still going on in the background. Um, as soon as this, as this is done, I'm going to start the installer with the dash dash scenario satellite um, option and the dash dash upgrade options um, to continue the um, rest of the upgrade. And we're done. So we start up the satellite installer, pass it the scenario flag and the dash dash upgrade flag like before. Um, now what this does is it invokes the satellite installer again, which is a, a pretty extensive set of puppet modules. And it's going to run all through those puppet modules and make sure all the configuration files are correct and all uh, potential database migrations are run if there is a database migration in the upgrade. So this is going to take a couple minutes. I'm going to hit pause for a second and uh, I'll be back when this is done. So uh, that was the installer. Install is finished. As you can see, a lot of steps were run. A um, couple of red messages that are, in this case, not a problem because Elasticsearch and Gutterball have already been removed when I upgraded this server from uh, 6.1 to 6.2 a couple of months ago. So the installer is done. If we now switch over back to my, uh, my login page for this specific uh, satellite server, we can refresh that. And there we are. And we can refresh that. And then we will see it's now updated to 6.2.7. And if I remember my password right, we can still log into it as well. So um, that was that. There we are, 627 logged in, going well. Um, let's go back to my presentation real quick to close this all off. And there we are. So uh, thanks. I hope this was useful. If you want to know more about this, uh, reach out to me. My contact details are on this slide. It's maxim at redhat.com or on Twitter or um, check out the, the, the accompanying blog post of um, upgrading, updating a satellite server on 100things.wizard.com. And I'll talk to you guys uh, during a later video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.